Hey guys and welcome back to Wolfpack. So in this uh, tutorial today we're going to teach you the radio officer, um, what his job entails and so forth. So your radio man is in charge of two stations essentially, he's in charge of your radio room which is this room and he's also in charge of your hydrophone room which is here. But we're not going to worry about this station today, that's for another video. Today we're going to be focusing on the Enigma machine and the Morse code radio transceiver. Um, because this in itself requires a long video, hopefully not too long. So your radio officer is in charge of sending and receiving more signals, encrypting and decrypting using the Enigma machine, which is this lovely box here, and ensuring that the captain is always informed of any radio transmissions that relate to this U-boat. Any other transmissions, he probably doesn't need to worry about, but anything that's being sent to this U-boat specifically, then he needs to worry about. Or any, any messages that are sent to all U-boats, for example. So on the Enigma machine, you've got a couple of things you need to worry about. You've got the code wheel here, you've got your keypad here, and you've got your notebook here on the left as well. You'll notice that the notebook has got multiple tabs on it, so you've got your encode tab, your decode tab, your sent messages, which is messages that you've already sent, and your received messages, which is messages that you've already received. And this is going to look very confusing right now, but we'll talk through it all step by step. So the first thing we need to input here is a wheel setting. So we need to decide what our first wheel setting is going to be. So let's just randomly go through. So we're going to use NNRV. So let's put NNRV. And then the message key, we will put four random numbers from our keyboard. So I'm going to go HGFD. Um, and you'll see that's encrypted this to CIWU. So what we need to worry about here is inputting this setting now, the HDFD, into our wheel setting. So HG uh, This requires good knowledge of your alphabet skills. Uh, FD There we go. So HGFD is now set in our in our Enigma machine here. And in the plain text I'm going to put my message. So when typing out my message here, um, there is certain formats that you'll need to use to make sure that your the person receiving your message understands your message and understands what you're going to put. So in my encryption text here, I'm going to say report, so RPT, which means reports, and I'm going to put an X here as a space to show that that's one word. So report X and then solution and you see that takes up one line there so I actually don't need to send an X here because we're on a new line report solution data or and you see we've got one space so we're gonna put an X here and then convoy XX for the space CRS for course so convoy course and X speed, so SPD for convoy speed, and that's all set there. And you see that's now been encrypted to this. So this is what we need to send out in our Enigma machine with these two as well. So in the Enigma machine now, I'm going to, on the right box here, I'm going to click save, and I'm going to say test to save that, and that's going to come over here now to this station. And you see page two, because I've already sent a message, which was this one. So page two, you just go to the bottom right here like so. And we're now going to send this out. So before I send this out, I need to make sure that the U-Bot I'm going to send this to is currently at his radio station and is ready to receive this. Because the last thing I want to do is spend 10 minutes of my time sending this out for nobody at the other hand to hear it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Five, five, two. D E, which means this is nine, six, and I'm going to say K to say that I've ended my transmission here and I'm waiting for your response. So now I'm just going to wait for this response back from five, five, two. So nine, six. D E, which means this is five, five. Two receiving. 
and K, which means receiving, end of transmission. Now, normally what I would do here is I would write this down in a notepad, um, kind of in a separate window, just so that any key inputs I see, I remember, and I've got it all jotted down. So he's just received the message now. So what we're gonna do now is switch to the Enigma here. So I'm gonna send my wheel setting here because he needs to know our wheel setting and he needs to know the message key here. So I'm gonna say N N R V and you'll notice I'm sending this slow as well because he needs to copy it down on his end. And then C I W U. So now I've given him my wheel setting and message key. So he's got that written down now. And now I'm going to enter the ciphertext. So it's S Q L D. Future Robert here, just to let you know that this part of the video I got completely wrong. You don't say anything of what I've just done on screen here. What you do is you actually spam your E, so e for echo eight times to show that you've done something incorrect and then you just repeat your message from the beginning including the wheel settings etc n n r b for the wheel settings and then c i w u for the message key and then the cipher text is s u l d and then c R N Q A P B C O O W Q and then B U T B and you'll notice how slow I'm doing this as well just so that he can keep up on the other end N like so and then I E O F and Z I S N. So that's the ciphertext, but he doesn't know when the message is going to end. So for all the other person on the other end knows is that he's going to expect more. So now I'm gonna say, we've just sent our cipher text now and it's the end of this message to use the Enigma for. So again, I'm gonna send my wheel settings. Now immediately your radio officer is gonna pick up on this to say, oh, we've already sent that message. So this must be the end of the message because it's the first four that we sent. Okay, and then we've sent that, and I'm going to send K. And that K means the message has been sent. So we've just encrypted our message. He says, Roger, wait. And he said, Roger, wait, over, to show that he's now decrypting this message. So it's going to take a bit of time to decrypt this message himself um, and go through that. And don't worry, we're gonna have a message to decrypt ourselves in a minute. So I'm gonna get my trusty notepad up here, which is just this notepad, for example, just on a different screen. Okay, new message. So, so we need to be ready now for this new message. K, Z, E, C. So that'll be our wheel setting that he's sending. B, N, A, W, and that'll be our message key that he's sending now. So I'm writing this down. I'm just gonna be a bit quiet while I copy this.
So this is what I got here, yeah? And I can already see that we have a correlation here of these two. So I can already split these up as, again, my wheel setting and message key. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna let him know that we've received this message. So we're gonna say, Roger. So you click on the radio transceiver here, you'll get this up and we'll say, wait. And then, okay. So, we've received this message now. Let's go ahead and decode it. So to decode this message, we come to the decrypt new message tab or decode here. And we're gonna input again the wheel settings here. So it's KZEC. So KZEC. So let's go ahead and go to KZEC here on our wheel settings, H, I, J, K. I like to sing the alphabet in my head for this. A, Z, E, C. Okay. Now, what do we do here? So, K, Z, E, C, we've input that now. So, what we need to do now is input this into our keyboard. So, B, N, K, W. So, here we go. B, N, K, W. Oh. W and there's our message key so that's the true message key that he sent which is T G B H so what we need to do now is change our code wheel to T G B H and if this is all set correctly then the next text I should input on the cipher text should come out in plain text with exactly what it says. So the next thing I'm gonna do is input all this area here. So let me go ahead and do that. So it's M X N C P S B L M D Q A S K G K B I K and then Y and then Y Q D. Okay. So a couple of things here is gonna be a bit like what does that say? So you've got C C R S which stands for convoy course. X means a space Q E T. So he sent QET here. Well, what does QET mean? If you get something like this within a text that you don't quite understand, it's probably referring to numbers. So let's go to Q. Q is number one, as you can see here on your keyboard. E is number three, and T is number five. So Convoy's course is one, two, five. Sorry? No, one, three, five. QET, one, three, five and convoy speed, and you see he's written it in, in a letter format as well for me. Let's see, you've got two types. You've got the number format here, and you've got your letter format. So four, three, and then K-T-O-T-Y. Not sure what that says. So I think it's, I think it's three knots. Four, three, can't be four, three knots. Uh, let's see if I've, done this right here so yyqd oh yeah I see there you go speed 43 knots now it's not actually going to be 43 knots but you're saying it's 43 knots just for an example so what I'm going to do now is say that I've done this and decrypted I'm just going to put DC and there it goes into our received tab here. Yep, 
and you see it's got the blue received the enigma operator was me and we've written now put this message into our received box at this point i would call up the captain and say new message received convoy uh and then the speed 135 convoy sorry convoy's course is 135 and i'd say the convoy speed blah blah, blah. now at this point i would also tell the operator that i've verified his message so bear with me here So what he actually might mean here as well is 4.3 knots. My bad. So he might mean 4.3 knots. So you can't actually emit a dot in Morse code. That would be you can, but it's it's very hard to depict which one the dot was. So 4.3 knots. Okay. So now that we've done that, I'm going to say that we've verified his message. So I'm going to say new message click again message verified over now if I say over it means that you know you, you kind of wait for something else you, you're still at your radio room you're still able to be contacted but if I said out it means that we're not going to send any more communications there's no need for us to talk anymore so I can now leave my post and go about my business and about my day so there we've talked about the Morse code, we've talked about the Enigma machine, and we've talked about how to encrypt and decrypt messages as well. And just as well here, once you've sent your message, you can click here to mark it as sent. That'll then say sent here, just to not confuse yourself to go, oh, have I sent this or not? And then that'll also go into your sent box here, so you can refer back to these messages later on. I highly advise, for the moment, not using this thing because if you put stuff in here, server lag will eventually get the better of you and some of these messages won't actually show as you're typing in the keyboard. So I advise using an external program like a, like Notepad, for example. Um, another thing as well, when you're transmitting, you wanna make sure you're transmitting on channel one. 99.9% .9 of the time, you're always gonna transmit on channel one because that's what all you bots use. You might have like a rare circumstance where it's like a, a two pack wolf pack for example so it's like well two u-boats going to channel two two u-boats going to channel one i don't think you'd ever see that though and here is the volume as well that you can turn up and down for the morse code cool so that's how you use the enigma machine um, and that's how you understand certain things as well in the description below i'm going to put some uh, um, material in there to show you some morse code abbreviations that we use and um, other things as well to help you out with this this layout. But once you get it, trust me, you'll get it. It'll take a minute to get into, but once you've done it, that's it. You're done, and you know what you need to do then. Uh, I just want to thank Fox as well for being the man on the other end of this radio today and helping me get this sorted, running through the material with me, um, and ensuring that we're both on the same page. So cheers for that, Fox. If you have any questions, please leave them below as well. I'm more than happy to answer them. And thank you very much for watching. Take care and all the best.